shift is back and I'm struggling. I wanted, I stayed up late so that, I stayed up late so that I could sleep at night. So I stayed up till two, but now it's 11.30, but I, I couldn't sleep. I, my body got up at 9.30. So now we're screwed because what do we do? Like, like we're screwed. The first day on night shift is always the hardest because like you have a full night sleep, you know? It's fine. We're gonna try to take a nap later, but for now, it's 11.30. I stayed in bed until 11.30 trying to get back to bed and it didn't work. We're gonna eat Cheerios. I just texted my trainer and he has a spot open to train me in 30 minutes, so. Go work out. Get a chai latte on the way back up. Maybe some packages. Then it'll be like, 1.32, shower, meal prep, get some more work done, emails, edit, maybe nap if we can, and then go into work. All right, I'm ready for the gym. I have my outfit on under here. I just put this little hoodie from Sunbun on. I'm gonna get my water, and then we're gonna go do this workout, and it's gonna be great. I'm gonna say one, and then you're gonna go down and up and hold it. I'm gonna say two, you're gonna go just like that with all the way to 12. It's just gonna burn a whole lot more. Okay. We'll start. now I was down there for an hour and a half because I was working out with my trainer in Columbia so nice Chosen Nuno he was about to take a nap and decided to train me instead because I last minute asked um it was really good we did 45 minutes a hit we did like squatting with the barbell which I've never done so that was crazy and then I did two miles on the tread and then 10 minutes stair master but I don't want too much caffeine because I want to try to nap but a chai latte is chill Enough for me to get work done and then nap. So I went down to our coffee machine, but I forgot a mug. So I had to put it in here. But our chai lattes are so good. I need to get them more often. Now I can refill this with water. Yeah, great workout. Now I'm going to drink my chai latte on the porch and edit and respond to emails. Meal prep with me for three night shifts. We're back on nights. Unfortunately, we're gonna make some wraps. Let's start with putting the turkey. I think I got like chicken breast on each of them. Then we're gonna add some pepper jack cheese to each. I was gonna do salads, but like these are just so much easier than like the lettuce going bad. And the pepperoni. I always rotate between pepperoni and salami, but I was feeling pepperoni. I'm so mad I meant to get lettuce, but I forgot lettuce. But instead, this is really random, but we're gonna add hard boiled eggs to it. We're just gonna have to skip out the lettuce and that's okay. I don't even know if these like go in these, but I like them. I wish I had some kind of veggie to add in these because with night shift, we don't really eat veggies because like we go in, we have a random small snack before and then we have breakfast after. So I need to get my veggies in on night shift. So maybe next week we'll go back to meal prepping the salads or at least add something in here. Then I just roll them up like this and then roll them into their little aluminum foil. Wraps are such an easy lunch for like night shift and they don't make me want to use it like three in the morning. So this will be good to eat then. Okay, those are done. Now let's do overnight oats. Okay, so these are gonna be for before shifts. Oh wait, I'm just do one half cup? Yeah, one half cup. Just because they're easy to grab. I'm almost out of oats though. I need to get those next time at the store. So one half cup of oats and yeast. I also need to order more of these plastic because like they're just so easy to grab and go and I hate keeping these in my car. I break them. I think you do this. I haven't made them in a minute, but I think it's one half to one half. Like it's the same ratio. Or else it'll be too liquidy and it'll be gross. So I think it's one half to one half, not like one to like one whole. 
scoop of yogurt. I use the Oikos protein yogurt. It's so good. Scoop of the best almond butter ever. Get the vanilla kind. A little bit of chia seeds. Then you mix, and normally I'd add apples, but we're gonna wait to add the apples until right before I eat them because sometimes they get gross when they're like overnight. But yeah. All right, let's try this again. Round two of trying to sleep. We got this. The window people finally left. They're gonna have to come fix my door again. He said, we're gonna have to do some more surgery on your door. They've been trying to fix this leak for so long. It only leaks when it rains. I'm over it, but I'm thankful they're still fixing it. <sighs> then I showered and we're meal prepped, we're ready. It's 3.23, hopefully we can get to sleep. I'm not tired. Of course, like I'm never tired when I need to be tired. My boyfriend was like, take some melatonin, but I'm like, now I can't take melatonin because I'm gonna be exhausted in two hours when I have to get up. So we're gonna lay here and see if we can get to sleep. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do. No, like night shift around like 2 to 3 a.m. It's just like miserable. I try to eat lunch as late as I can at like 2 or 3. But like once you get to 4 p.m. Well, in med search, I'd get to 4 p.m. vitals and be like, okay, we got this. But like picky, like your vitals are always going. So I don't even know if 4 p.m. will be significant. I'm just kidding. That's when we do our assessment and everything. I don't know. I'm just like anxious. Plus like my boyfriend's games right now. But like. We can't, this is so dramatic, but like we can't do our nightly FaceTimes and we're long distance and that's where we like talk all night, not all night, like a couple hours at the end of the day and like recap. So like that fucks that up. Like what am I supposed to do call in the morning? No, I guess I could call before my shift, but he's playing a game right now. Okay, that's minor details. This is the makeup look. Let me go put on an outfit and show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, what should we wear? I know, royal blue scrubs. Plot twist. These are my favorite ones from Custom Medical Clothing. But that band, they just put them on the website for you guys. Six thirteen. I spent the last 30 minutes editing a little bit. And I just got up, got ready. I'm doing a get ready with me. Sorry, I'm filming on like 10 different things. So go watch that. Now we're picking out my outfit. I think I'm going to wear this long sleeve green because I forgot to wear green for St. Patty's Day. So I'm make, like... The shift I worked the night before St. Patrick's weekend, I didn't wear green, so I'm like, I gotta make up for it, right? I work. But I heard it gets so cold on night shift, so I need to pack a good warm jacket. I need more of these Lulu tops, I'm obsessed. Let's do some deodorant. Y'all, I got Botox, like, you know, you guys know how I've been struggling with my nose lately and like not loving it. Just, I don't know. Well, they put Botox like on the sides and I honestly feel like it made it worse. Like I honestly feel like it's like, not them, like just, they told me what I was gonna do. But I think I just need to do the console for it, for the nose stuff. I just feel like it's so like bubbly and wide right now. I don't know. I don't know. I'm my worst critic. I gotta stop coming on here and critiquing myself and just be confident, you know? We're gonna do the wavy headband. Okay. Slay. Now we are making sure our lunch is packed. We're gonna keep from last time the nuts, the rice cakes for snack, the wraps. I want to try this new Alani flavor. It's Orange Kiss, and I'm so excited about it. That's all for that. I'm gonna call Baba's and do a pickup order for my coffee and oats. That's what I'm gonna get on the way because Baba's is one of the only coffee shops that's still open. Wow, I'm in so much better of a mood than 5 a.m. Just wait until I get back from this shift. I'm gonna be sleepy. Let's go. Hi guys, I have to record now because by the time I get in the parking garage, I'll have to go inside. But y'all should know, I left you in the car 
and I had an awful day of sleep. Like I thought it would be solved and I thought it was just a first day on problem. But it was not. I couldn't sleep today either and I've never had that problem. Like I've never had that problem. In New York, everything, I could always sleep easily in between night shifts. I think my room in New York was like a cold, dark dungeon. And here it's like a light oasis. Oh, I should get a parking ticket. And it just wasn't in the cards today. I went to bed at 8.30, woke up at 10.30, and I tried for the next seven hours to go back to bed, and it didn't fucking work, and I'm really upset. I actually was crying about it all day because I just felt so useless, so pointless, so not accomplishing anything laying in bed, but I can't go accomplish things because I have to be up all night, but I also can't go to sleep, which is the main thing I want to accomplish. So frustrating. But don't think I can't do my job because lights turn on when you're a nurse at work and I'm so capable of being a nurse and I don't get tired at work. It's only before and after, so don't even come, don't even say any of that because I'm good. I got my caffeine, we're good to go, and I'm trying out here, okay? It's not like, I'm literally crying myself to trying to get to sleep. So, we're at work, I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, Kelsey got it for me, it's really cute because we have a burn kid and they can't regulate their own temperature. So the rooms are extremely hot and I was sweating yesterday in my long sleeve. But I'm gonna edit a TikTok and go into work. Love y'all. Where did I leave my Stanley Cup? I left it. I'm back in my shift, I'm so tired, but I pray I can go to sleep. I don't know if I actually will be able to because being tired means nothing for me apparently. Shift is really good. We have the same kid, but they were so much busier tonight for some reason. Even though you never know, like looking at your brain in the ICU, how busy your night's gonna be because you don't know. Like our night, we were like, oh my god, we're gonna have so much downtime tonight. We literally didn't even sit down the whole shift more than like 20 minutes at a time. So you really do never know. Um, there was just a lot going on. It was a super busy shift, but honestly, it's really good because it kept me awake. I was up and out of them. I didn't even get the tiredness and that would have happened if I just sat there. That would have happened, but I didn't. I was good. <sighs> now the plan is, we drove home. It's 8.01. We're not gonna stress about it. We're not gonna stress about it. We're gonna shower. We're gonna have a waffle while we shower. We're gonna shower, we're gonna come back. We're gonna have a yogurt. We're gonna go watch Love is Blind. We're gonna take NyQuil today. We're not gonna do that every day, but we're gonna try NyQuil today since we really wanna sleep. And take it from there. We're just gonna try to relax. We're gonna do sleep mask. We're gonna try to make it darker. Good morning, guys. I need snack. Oh my god, our apartment's a mess. It's a mess, I tell you. Awani and wrap, and this time instead of the nuts, we're still gonna pack the rice bakes. We're gonna pack this as snacks. I don't know if I wanna have snacks at work or like a wrap. I know I can't have a full meal, but then I'm hungry because I only have snacks. I mean, I had the wrap, but I'm still like hungry at the end of the shift because I feel like I'm not, because before I don't even know what I eat, I like eat like random little things. Like I, I woke up today, I had edamame, a couple raspberries, and chickpeas. So, I don't know what I need to eat, but great news is I slept today. I took a shower, I played some unwind down music on Spotify, calming music. I took Max NyQuil and then I slept in Max's room. I texted her to ask him if I could because I wanted to try it because it looks darker. And she's in Florida and she's like, of course, please do. Like, get, you need sleep. Like, sleep as much as you can. And I did and I slept. I only woke up twice and then I finally woke up at four. So I got like seven hours of sleep, I would say, seven, eight. I feel so good. I'm so relieved. It's possible we can do it. Now we got to try without NyQuil in my bed tomorrow, but we'll try that. Um, we're going to go to Starbucks. Comment. I want to get the Breville and Espresso because I can't do this Nespresso. But I do need to start making coffee at home and the um, Nespresso isn't doing it for me. I don't know, just come up coffee racks at home because this is my third day in row Starbucks, but it's fine. And the stock cold brew and the cold brew stuff just isn't doing it. I'm gonna 
split up these vlogs. I think I was doing a week of my life. I guess we'll continue the week of my life. And then we'll do a weekend vlog, but my night shift. I did sleep. I think I told you guys I did sleep and I was very, 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 very happy with that. Um, and last night we were so busy. My kid ended up being a two to one last night. So since we're an orientee and I have a preceptor, we still counted as one person. So we had another girl, Brie, whom I love. And we got to know each other better. So it was three of us to that one little baby. <laughs> but honestly, we thought we'd have so much time on our hands, but we were so busy. We didn't even sit down because we had to go to no, we didn't go to MRI. We had to do a dressing change, a burn dressing change, and those take forever. So, that took forever. And it was all good. Really good shift. It went by really fast. Talked to people, hung out. Really good shift. Came home, slept from like 8.30, probably 9 to 1. I got up at like 1. So, four hours, but that's good because hopefully I can go back to bed tonight. I got my lashes done. I went to Charleston Beauty, Charleston Beauty Collective by Hannah. She did my lashes and I'm so happy because they look like so natural this time. And this is exactly what I wanted. And then she did my brows too. And I want to come back for two weeks for a fill. And then eventually we're going to laminate the brows. But like, I'm so happy with how they look. Now I have a jab class in like 14 minutes. A cycle class. Feels so good. My top is down on Stargirl. It's been down. It's felt so good coming home from night shifts with just the top down. It's been amazing. Really good vibes, really good energy, really good music. And then tomorrow morning, early, early, I have a flight to West Palm. And I'm so excited. Going to see my boyfriend. Um, quick trip. I'm going Friday, leaving Sunday because he just found out he has to leave Sunday. But that's fine because I have to work Monday anyways. He has a game in a different location. Their schedule is so crazy, but so is mine. So, like, we're really just out here winging both our schedules. It's fine. I just see him and I can. If you're wondering why I go there so much, it's because baseball, you literally play six out of seven days a week and he can't just fly here for one day when he has to be, like, it's just not possible. But he came to me three times before I even came to him once and then the season started and now that can't happen, sadly, but I don't mind. I have the time with my nursing schedule. But we are about to cycle um, I don't know what I want to eat because that I got Holy City bagels this morning out of everything bagel. Holy City bagels in Charleston is so freaking good. You guys need to get it. It's so good. I got everything bagel with cream cheese. So I was so full, but now I'm starting to get hungry again. It's five. So I'll probably get dinner after, but I don't know what I want. But yeah, that's the little update. Love you guys. Got Verde after Jibe. The cycle class was so good, and then I got my Miss Verde salad. Gonna go home and watch Woman Tell All the Bachelor because I've been working night shifts and haven't been able to do it. Jibe was so good though. The instructor was amazing. Her energy was amazing. There was no line at Verde. It's 6:30. I'm gonna go home, shower, pack, and then we'll eat this. I just want to bite. Change of plans, y'all. Okay, so I packed. I did a pack with me on TikTok if you guys want to go watch it. I'm sorry I didn't do it on here. But here's everything I packed. I was like, oh, not packing that much because I'm literally leaving Friday and I'm coming home Sunday. <sighs> that might not be the case anymore. So my boyfriend called me and was like, okay, both our schedules are so fucking last minute. That's why I, I always book my flights last minute and make them one way. Because I always change them like this. So they have these last few games in West Palm. So that's why I was going to leave Sunday because he is leaving Sunday for DC. They have an exhibition game on Tuesday. Or it's like a, it's like a, what's it called? It's like a, not prospect. Maybe it is. Up and coming people. So it's like him, Brady, Mary Lynn's boyfriend, a couple other people. Like the up and coming people. The real, I don't know what they're called. It's like an exhibition for nationals versus nationals at the Nationals Park in DC. And at first he was like, yeah, no, it's not that big of a deal. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'd rather you come if I like do a different, like, I don't know. He was like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and he wasn't sure if he had a plus one because after that game, there's this thing called the Nat Gala. And it's like this nice red carpet gala. And he didn't know if he had a plus one. He just called me, my flight in like four hours. And he was like, oh, by the way, I RSVP'd both of us for the Nat's Gala. And he's like, if you can come. And I was like, of course I want to come, but like, I was not prepared for that. So, I wanted to go shopping. I would have raided Sydney's closet. 
the like cute red dresses, but I might go shopping West Palm Beach because it's supposed to rain anyways. But work, this is why I need to be a PR and princess, y'all, because like I'm way too busy in last minute plans like to do any of this. I love working, don't get me wrong, and it's such a privilege that I can be a PR and princess when that opportunity opens up. But getting those three shifts in a week with the schedule I have and a long distance boyfriend is very confusing, hard to manage. Because Sydney's birthday is next weekend, and so I wanted the weekend off, but now I have to adjust these shifts, and it's fine to adjust on orientation because my preceptor works the weekend anyway, so I'm just going to pick up that Friday night and move because all I have is I have a shift Monday. But if I'm already in West Palm, I'm just going to leave Sunday when all the when the boys leave to go to D.C. I'm going to leave Sunday because we can stay in their hotel with them. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave Sunday, but then I'm going to switch my Monday to Friday so then I can get, still get Saturday with Sydney and everyone and for her birthday weekend. That's the plan. Oh, there's so much. There's so much. Or I could fly back from West Palm to here Monday. No, because if I work Monday night, I can't make the game Tuesday because it's early. Okay, well, let's find a red carpet dress. What, what is the weather in D.C.? I'm going to wait till tomorrow to talk to him to see what flight I should book. It's 38? Oh my god, it's cold. It'll be a low of 39, high of 57. Oh my god, now I need another game outfit. This is so hard, y'all. This is so hard. Okay, we can do this. We're gonna go to Max Closet real quick. Okay. 